Now let's study uh, Koshinage technique. Koshinage means a hip throw, and uh, we see when we think of hip throw, I think normally we think of judo or jujitsu. And uh, hip throw or koshinage is uh, quite well practiced in Aikido. But uh, what I notice nowadays is that many people are afraid to take the ukemi, take the fall from koshinage. I think people uh, feel kind of afraid or feel a little bit anxious. And because the partner is afraid to take the role, it's very difficult to develop the koshinage in training. But uh, in practice, the ukemi for koshinage and the koshinage technique itself is very easy. Very, very easy. In fact, uh, to, to negotiate the koshinage throw is maybe one of the most simplest falls in the Aikido practice. And when I'm talking about koshinage in this context, I'm talking about in the sense of training. So uh, let's... Uh, look at the koshinage technique. The simplest one is uh, aihammi, okay, right on right, okay, left on left, okay, simplest one. Koshinage technique, up. So. Up. Now taking it step by step, break his balance. Step in front, strike his face. Then stay, keep this position. My feet should be like a T. Generally this angle is wrong. Sometimes too much this way, too much this way. Generally what happens, people go this way. You're putting your back to your opponent. Now, this is going to be very difficult, impossible. From the standpoint of martial art, dangerous. Not only impossible, but dangerous. Your feet should be like a T. Break his balance, strike his face. That puts this hand out of commission. Then, step, T. This way, this way, make a T. Then, drop your hip and come down so until you can see his face. When you do koshinage, this is not good, looking on the ground. Turn your body until you see his face. What that does is put your back against his chest. So I come down till I see his face. Once I see his face, then I bring my hand down, lift my hip. If I'm looking down, this is incorrect way, looking down, he just fall on top of me. Now I'm in big trouble. If I'm moving, angles wrong, facing away from him, not creating a T, this is big trouble. So a simple thing is to break his balance, strike him while you make a T, drop your hip until you see his face, then come down. So for many uh, beginning Aikidos, uh, there's kind of apprehension about taking the fall. But actually the fall is very easy. Come here, T. Now I'm just going to balance him on my back. See, he's resting on my lower back. I'm supporting his weight with my legs, so very comfortable very comfortable. If I put him on my upper back, I can't support him with my legs and feet. It's going to be lots of trouble. Now I can't, now I can't pick him up. Okay? So I have to balance him above my legs on my lower hip. Here. Okay. Then, when uh, your partner feels comfortable with that, here up, let him wrap his arm around your arm. And you're going to support him when he falls. And if he lands on his feet, it becomes the easiest uh, fall to take.
of all the ukemi here. Hold up. And practice this way until your partner gets confidence. Up, grab, go. Here, up, 